Hello everyone. This is Dr. Arsa Sikmar, Professor, Computer Science and Engineering Department from RM Engineering College. Today I'm going to take about uh, hardware multithreading in computer architecture. So what is multithreading? The multithreading a mechanism by which the instruction stream is divided into several smaller streams and can be executed in parallel is called multithreading. So here, uh, uh, one thread can be divided into n number of uh, several threads and all the threads are executed simultaneously. So in multithreading uh, concept, we can achieve the parallel processing concept because uh, every thread can be executed simultaneously. That is called what a uh, multithreading. So what is called a hardware multithreading? That is an increasing utilization of a processor by switching to another thread when one thread is stalled is known as a hardware multithreading. Suppose when we have more number of threads, if any one thread is stalled, then the system will not stop the processor. It will move on to another thread. That is called what a hardware multithreading. So what is called a thread? A thread includes the program counter, register state, and the stack. It is a lightweight process, whereas threads commonly share a single address space process. No, no process, but it, it shares a single address space. So a thread includes the program counter or a, it is a lightweight process. Okay. So what is called the thread switch means what? The act of switching processor control from one thread to another within the same process, it is called what thread switch. Okay. So we can, uh, for example, when we have a more number of thread, then the control uh, switches from one thread to another thread, uh, that is called what a thread switch. So thread is also called what lightweight process. What is called process? A process includes one or more threads, the address space and the operating system state. Hence, a process switch usually invokes the operating system, but not a thread switch. So process also one task or one or more thread, it share the address space and the operating system. Then the process switch uh, usually invokes the operating system, not a thread switch. Uh, we have a, uh, there are three main approaches to uh, obtain the hardware multithreading concept. Uh, one is called a fine grained multithreading, another one is a coarse grained multithreading, the third one is a simultaneous multithreading. So, what is called a, a fine grained multithreading? A version of hardware multithreading that implies switching between threads after every instruction, resulting in interleaved execution of multithread. So uh, the fine uh, normally uh, thread switch means what uh, switching in between the thread or if any one thread is stalled means what the control switch over to another thread. Okay. So what is the fine grain means what it switches from one thread to another thread at, for every clock cycle. This interleaving is often done in a round robin fashion, skipping any threads that are stalled at the clock cycle. To make a fine grain multi-threading practical, the processor must be able to switch threads on every clock cycle. So we will see the advantage and disadvantages of uh, fine grain multithreading. The advantage is vertical wastage eliminated, pipeline hazard cannot arise, zero switching overhead, ability to hide latency within the thread. That is, it can hide the throughput losses that arise from both uh, short and long stall. Instruction from other thread can be executed when one thread stall. High execution efficiency, potentially less complex than alternative high performance process. The drawback of uh, fine grain multithreading, clock cycles are wasted if a thread has a little operation to execute it. So here, uh, more number of clock cycles are wasted uh, and need a lot of threads to execute. Uh, it is expensive than uh, coarse grain multithreading. It slows down the execution of the individual thread since a thread that is ready to execute without stall will be delayed by instruction from other threads. So the next we want to post grain multithreading. So, so finally, I will give that I will show that uh, example. Uh, before we move on to that example, we will see the definition of uh, coarse grain multithreading. So the coarse grain multithreading was invented as an alternative to fine grain multithreading. A version of hardware multithreading that implies switching between threads only after significant events, such as the last hour catch miss. This change relieves the need to have a thread switching by extremely fast much less likely to slow down the execution of an individual thread since instructions from other threads will only be issued when a thread encounters a costly stall. <coughs> the advantages of uh, post grain multithreading to have a very fast uh, thread switching doesn't slow down thread. The drawback, uh, it is hard to overcome throughput losses from shorter stall due to pipeline startup cost. 
since CP is used in section from one thread, when a star occur, the pipeline must be emptied. New thread must fill pipeline before instruction can complete. Due to the startup overhead, coastline multi-threading is much more useful for reducing the penalty of high cost stall, where pipeline refill is negligible compared to the stall time. The third approach is simultaneous multi-threading. Compared to the previous one, the simultaneous multi-threading is the best one uh, in all the <coughs> uh, all the aspect. So it is a variation of uh, hardware multi-threading. Uses the resource of a multiple issue, dynamically scheduled pipeline process to exploit threat level parallelism. At the same time, it exploits the insect level parallelism. Here, the using the uh, simultaneous multi-threading concept, we can achieve the uh, threat level parallelism as well as the insect level parallelism concept. SMT, that is a simultaneous multi-threading, is a multiple issue processor, often have more functional unit parallelism available than most single threads can effectively use. Since SMT relies on the existing dynamic mechanism, it does not switch resources every cycle. Instead, SMT is always executing instruction from multiple threads to associate instruction slot and rename the register with a proper thread. So what is the main uh, concept of uh, simultaneous multi-threading means what? It doesn't uh, waste the any clock cycle. In every clock cycle, it will utilize the maximum, uh, uh, maximum resources. So the advantage is it is ability to boost uh, utilization by dynamically scheduling functional unit among multiple threads. It increases hardware design facility. It produces better performance and add resources to a fine grind manner. Disadvantage, it cannot improve performance if any of the shared resources are the limiting bottleneck for the performance. For example, this is the overall comparison of uh, hardware multi-threading. We have a four thread, thread A, thread B, thread C, and the thread D. Uh, the issue slots uh, right uh, so we have to apply that uh, uh, three technique uh, one is a coarse MT the second one is a fine MT the third one is a SMT so uh, in coarse MT the first uh, in the every clock cycle the thread has been uh, taken in the first clock cycle a thread A then thread B okay these two threads are uh, taken and the third one fourth one is a uh, MT Again, it will switch out to the next thread. So the second thread is uh, okay. Again, the third one and uh, uh, empty. So it will switch out to the third thread. Then we are here, we have a three threads. So the, all the three threads are executed simultaneously. And the next one, so this is what vertical uh, wise. So the next two, two thread and again, another four threads will execute. After that, uh, there is a stall, okay. So uh, e whenever the stall is occur, then automatically, then automatically what uh, the control uh, move on to thread B. So thread B, the first three uh, threads executed, next to two, the next to one and one and finally one again stall. When the stall occur means what the control is transferred to thread C. Again the control is transferred to thread D. Likewise, uh, the vertical wise uh, the threads are executed. That is called what uh, post gain to multi threading. So still, uh, it has some disadvantages because uh, uh, this process cannot execute all the threads simultaneously. And this one is what uh, vertical wise uh, everything. So we move on to another thread, uh, fine grained multi-threading. The fine grained multi-threading, instead of vertical, it will move on to horizontal wise. So horizontal wise, uh, the first thread A will execute. The next thread B will execute. Then again, thread C will execute. Uh, then thread D will execute. Again, come back uh, thread A, thread B, then uh, thread C, thread D, no thread C, no thread D. Again, the thread A, then thread B, then thread D. So likewise, uh, it will execute horizontal wise uh, instead of vertical wise. Uh, so utilize all the threads effectively compared to uh, code grain multi-threading. But the drawback is what? Uh, it, it it cannot uh, use the uh, it cannot fulfill the entire slot uh, comfortably so the wastage of slot is uh, occur more so that way we move on to simultaneous multi-threading the simultaneous multi-threading maximum slot can be utilized effectively uh, compared to uh, the previous uh, two multi-threading it can be utilized all the slots uh, uh, comfortably there are four slots available so the in that four slot uh, the first thread uh, uh, thread A will be executed. Again, remaining two threads, uh, the thread B will execute. One more, one, one thread is emptying. So in the next clock cycle, 
the thread B will come execute here and uh, the thread C, uh, three thread C will execute, will come to next one. And again, another one, it starts with the thread B, one thread and one thread A, then two thread B. Okay. And the next one, again, three thread A, one thread B, the slot is filled. The next again, three thread D, then uh, one one uh, three thread d okay now it, up to this everything is filled up then three thread d the next one is what two thread a one thread b two thread c but uh, we have only one more slot so in that slot uh, instead of executing the thread a the one thread b will be executed so the next uh, two thread a and two thread c will so the uh, the slot will be executed uh, comfortably. So all the slots are executed and all the threads are utilized uh, comfortably. That is an advantage of uh, simultaneous multi-threading. So here, uh, compared to two, uh, fine grain, two fine, uh, the previous two uh, threading algorithm, SMT, which uh, support uh, uh, thread level parallelism as well as insertion level parallelism, and all the threads are executed simultaneously and the no wastage of uh, slot, uh, everything will be utilized uh, 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 comfortably so that is an advantage of smt so com all compared to all the three multi-threading the smt is in a, a bet better one i hope you understand that uh, hardware multi-threading algorithm thank you